So at the beginning of the year, when I was writing out my intentions for the year ahead, there were a lot of goals that I had, you know, goals when it comes to dating, goals when it comes to personal development, goals when it comes to fitness. But there was one major goal that I had and I have for this year, and that is to live a more sustainable life and also be less wasteful. So hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you've been keeping very well. I'm really excited to dive into this video, dive into this topic, because this is something that has been very very present for me lately and is, like I mentioned, quite a goal that I have for this year. I am absolutely nowhere near perfect. I very much so feel at the beginning of my journey with sustainability, but it is something that is really important to me and is at the forefront of my mind at the moment. So I'm very excited to share. A lot of the things I'm going to mention in today's video for me are really simple swaps, but I acknowledge the fact that I come from a space of privilege when I say that and the fact that I have access to these products and these services. So keep that in mind with watching that I completely understand that not everything is accessible to everyone and that intention, not perfection, is something that I really believe should be applied here. If you are looking to live more sustainably and make changes in your life, don't feel like you need to make every single change or else you are not making an impact. Every small change that you make can make a positive impact and I think that that is really important to remember when we are looking to change our behavior and uh, implement some changes in our life. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk to you about some things that I'm personally changing in my life at the moment to live more sustainably. A lot of them are going to be really, really simple, but hopefully it can inspire you with some of the brands that I personally really enjoy for reusable items and things like that, and just show you some simple ways that I'm making changes in my own life. So the first thing I want to talk about is practice practical day-to-day changes and a lot of this comes from using reusable items. I feel like we've heard it time and time again, reusable items are something that you know a lot of people use and that are a really great and simple swap to make in your life in order to live more sustainably and reduce your impact and reduce your waste. So yeah, there are a few products that I find really beneficial to have and I find that they help me reduce my waste and there are also some products I want to mention that I am going to invest in in order to continue reducing my waste. So filming this video came at the perfect time because I went this morning to my local cafe and I got myself an iced chocolate on macadamia milk in my reusable smoothie tumbler. This is from the Wholesome Store. I really enjoy the Wholesome Store. They have a lot of products, like reusable products, which I really, really enjoy. There are so many things that I love about this smoothie tumbler. I use it at home regardless. I don't only use it when I go and get takeaway drinks. But what I love is I always found that there was a little bit of a gap in the market. There wasn't a lot of products that you could use um, to get ice drinks takeaway without having to get plastic cups. So yeah, this is something that I am committed to taking with me whenever I am getting iced drinks and yeah I highly recommend if you are an iced coffee drinker, an iced chocolate drinker, an iced chai drinker, whatever you are, uh, this is a really great product that I definitely recommend. As well as that something that I'm personally committed to purchasing and I am on the hunt for a good one at the moment is a reusable coffee cup that I can take with me when I'm getting hot drinks. I'm more of an iced drink kind of gal but definitely looking at the moment to invest in a hot drink cup as well and again they are a product i mean there are so many of those available so definitely something that i recommend getting if you are someone who drinks coffee regularly as well as that this might be a state the obvious but a reusable water bottle is incredible okay incredible i honestly one of my worst habits that i got into last year was not bringing this with me and then i was buying bottled water and just feeling such an extreme amount of guilt about it and so this year I've been really really committed to making sure I bring this with me that way I am not using plastic water bottles I drink a lot of water and this is really great again this is from the wholesome store which I highly recommend I think it's like I don't know how much water fits in here like probably almost a liter but I really, really love it and yeah, genuinely recommend investing in a good quality water bottle that's nice and big. 
as well. Something else I'm very much so committed to this year as someone that does enjoy going out to eat or that gets food on the go when I'm having a busy work week is not using takeaway cutlery and straws because honestly this is something that I find that I am not great at and I really want to change. So I have this kit that I am going to keep in my car which has some straws, straw cleaner, a spoon, a knife and a fork and yes what I am going to do is keep it in my car because I find that I can often forget things like this but if I have it in my car I will use it so definitely recommend trying something like this and I'm obviously going to keep you updated on how my sustainability journey goes but I'm feeling good about this I'm feeling good about being like hold the cutlery you know okay so my next tip is something i have been enjoying this year and i am so excited because i discovered this app and then they very kindly reached out to me to sponsor this video i'm so stoked to talk about it because i really really enjoy what they're doing i really want to thank my friends at clima for sponsoring today's video and probably my favorite thing about clima is how simple they make it to make an impact a fun fact about me that you may not know is that in my early 20s I actually studied environmental science majoring in environmental sustainability and whilst I ended up leaving and not finishing my degree one of the greatest things that I learned about when I was taking sustainability classes was how big of a carbon footprint I had and it was very interesting learning about not only what my footprint was like but also what everyone else in my classes what their footprint was like and we really were able to identify how different things make a different impact for example I'm someone who eats a plant-based diet and so therefore my footprint was significantly less than others but I also traveled in my car an hour and a half to and from university whenever I was going and so that made a bigger impact than say people who lived very close to university with that being said this is something that I have been really interested in for a while but I'm really committed to learning more about now. When you join Klima, they calculate your carbon footprint and from there they provide you with an affordable monthly subscription which is based on your carbon footprint and then that is used to do things like plant trees, promote green energy projects and as well as that improve lives around the globe. So I really like this because it is something that I was able to set up so simply and I feel like I am making a difference in my day-to-day -day life financially but it doesn't feel like an overwhelming thing to be doing if that makes sense. I think a lot of the time like for me personally I feel really overwhelmed when I think about the state of the world and not knowing like where to be putting my energy, where to be putting my time, where to make an impact. Like how is someone like me just going to make an impact and I really enjoy the way that this was just a super simple way to make a small impact in my life. As well as that in the app they have a lot of guides on how you can live more sustainably and it also tells you things that you could improve on so one of the things that we're going to get into later in this video but one of the things that I personally do need to improve on is my shopping habits and that's something that I will totally own and that's something that Klima picked up when I put in all of the information about the diet that I eat the amount that I drive the amount that I fly and all of these kind of things the major thing that I really needed to work on is my shopping habits so that's something that I am very committed to doing at the moment and I appreciate the fact that I can learn more about how to do that in the app as well. There's a lot of like educational stuff so it's great. So yes if you're interested in checking out Klima I have left a link down in my description box. If you click that and sign up and use my code AmandaDucks10 they also will plant an extra 10 trees in your name which is really really awesome and yeah fabulous and all of the good stuff. So thank you to Klima for sponsoring today's video. I love the app. I hope you love it as well if you check it out. Let's get into our next tip step. I don't really know. This isn't a tips video. This is just me telling you tips that I'm giving myself really. So one of the main things that I personally really want to work on at the moment is being more organized and being more prepared with my grocery shopping. I often find with the whole food blogging thing and with just spending a lot of time in the kitchen in general, I have like this abundance of food and I get to the end of the week and I have all of these random things and assume that I can't make a meal out of it. So one of the things that I'm really committed to doing at the moment is being more 
innovative with the food that I have in my fridge and my pantry and really being less wasteful. This also goes hand in hand with planning my meals in advance as well because I find that when I am planned with my meals and only purchasing what I need when it comes to food, I am wasting less food in general. And that is a really, really positive change that I want to make because I do find that it is very, very easy to waste food when you are over buying and not planning correctly. Even if it means walking to my local fruit shop or walking to the grocery store an extra day a week, I'm really committed to making that positive change and being less wasteful with food. It's something I really, really want to work on and I encourage you to do the same if you're in the position to do so. As well as that, a couple of things that I have done in the past but I've sort of let my habits slip and I really want to work on this is first of all, I want to work on making my own homemade plant-based milk again. I really, really enjoy making my own homemade milk and I have a video, I'll link it down below, which talks about how easy it is to make your own milk, especially oat milk is a super affordable milk to make at home as well if you have uh, any form of milk maker or high powered blender i definitely recommend giving it a crack and also i just really want to be mindful of purchasing things that are in plastic obviously perfection can be really hard to attain sometimes when it comes to buying fruits and vegetables because i find that even when i go to local fruit and veg stores a lot of things like herbs and things like that come in plastic but i really want to ensure that if i have the option of a plastic product or not a plastic product that I am consciously purchasing the one without plastic and yeah that's something that I am very committed to changing I have done it very well in the past and so I really want to get myself back into the habit of doing that as well okay the next thing I want to talk about is clothing as I mentioned earlier in the video this is something that I really want to change and I really want to be more mindful of my consumption of clothing and where I am purchasing from so when it comes to sustainable clothing I am super aware not only because of the uh, way that I feel about this in my own life but also the lives of my friends a lot of sustainable clothing pieces tend to be at a higher price point it is very justified that they're at a higher price point because they cost a lot more money to make as well as that if they are made ethically they cost more to make as well I also think it's really important to acknowledge that when it comes to ethical and sustainable brands a lot of the time they are not as inclusive as they should or could be which can make it really difficult for everyone to shop sustainably and ethically speaking from personal experience I have found it relatively difficult to find the style of clothing that I really like to wear in sustainable and ethical stores but something that I am really consciously working on when it comes to the purchase of clothing is a not over consuming I think it can be really hard and like I will be open in saying I love buying new clothes I love getting things that make me feel really really good in my body but something that I have become increasingly aware of is that trends are constantly changing and we live in a society that makes you feel like you should constantly be purchasing. Because of that, it makes me feel like I need to do that, but then I can't afford to be spending so much money on clothing constantly. Therefore, I am purchasing from brands who have a lower price point and aren't making clothes sustainably or ethically. At the moment, I'm working towards being more balanced when it comes to my consumption of clothing. I'm really ensuring that when I am buying clothes first of all i'm really trying to buy in store more and actually trying clothes on spending some time in them when i'm trying them on i'm really ensuring that there's something that is high quality and something that i am going to wear for an extended period of time for example this set that i'm wearing I love it so much. I know that I love wearing comfy sets like this. I wear them for a variety of occasions and I know that this is gonna last me a long time. It's a neutral color and I feel really good in it. So when I tried this set on in store, it looked great, it felt great, it felt comfortable. It felt like a really great way to spend my money because I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. So whilst I'm committed to doing more research on sustainable brands and finding more sustainable and ethical brands that I really, really enjoy and love the style that they have I also at the moment am really committed to consuming less and ensuring that when I am purchasing clothing it is clothing that I absolutely love that I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of I also am very very 
encouraging of re-wearing things that you have worn many a times before. Not every occasion needs something new and I really, really uh, feel good about that and feel good about that choice of purchasing less and wearing more. And I'm also going to try and get into like thrifting and stuff like that. If you have any tips for thrifting, let me know because I feel like every time I go, I can never find anything that I like. Maybe it's the lack of patience or something, but it's definitely something I want to give a go as well. Okay. This next one is a big one for me and it is period products. So I actually recently was talking to my housemate and my bestie for the resty Kara, and we were talking about how period underwear is simple life-changing like I am <laughs> obsessed with period underwear it is so comfortable and it's just literally like the most leak free thing that I have ever used in terms of sanitary items I love period underwear <laughs> so much and if you are someone who menstruates I highly highly recommend trying period underwear it is so good again a lot can be said for the inclusivity with the sizing but i will leave some brands down in the description box below who have the most inclusive sizing that i can find i definitely recommend investing in it i know that it's not for everyone but if you haven't given it a go i think there's a reason why so many people are turning to using period underwear because it is really really good with that being said something else that i recommend trying out is a period cup i personally have one i don't use it as much as i use my period underwear because i honestly just prefer the underwear so much more but if you are you know like wanting to go swimming and things like that or if you are someone who would prefer to not wear like period underwear which can feel bulky i recommend trying out a period cup they can be difficult to like insert and to figure out but once you get used to them, they're a really great product and you can honestly feel them less than you could feel a tampon. Definitely something that I recommend checking out and giving a go if you haven't done so before. They're really great and I, I swear there would be like so many YouTube videos explaining how to properly insert it. Uh, I cannot explain how to properly insert it, but definitely something I recommend giving a crack and this is something that I'm committed to doing more of as well. I really want to ensure that I am using products that are better for the environment when it comes to my period because there are just so many products available these days. So something that I was reading about online recently is something called realistic minimalism. And I found this really interesting to learn about because whenever I think about minimalism, I think about like homes that are super empty and they just have like a couch and a table and I don't know why that's what comes to mind, but that's what comes to mind. I really liked this idea of realistic minimalism, right? Because like as humans, we like to consume, we like material possessions, and I would be lying if I said I don't like material possessions because I do. And for example, I really, really enjoy like having nice bedding. I really enjoy having all of these plants. I enjoy a lot of the things in my home. But something I really want to practice is this idea of do I need this slash does this add value to my life? Once again, owning the fact I'm absolutely no expert when it comes to this because I really enjoy having things, but something I want to be conscious of, not only for sustainability and for the planet, but also for my bank account is, are these things that I actually need and do they add value to my life? I also think it's great to think about the long term. Like, is this something that I'm going to enjoy for a really long time? For example, this orange bedding. Yes, this was a great investment. I have had these for years now. I love them so very much and they will be with me for a really long time. And they're also really good quality. So that's great. But yes, something I want to practice more is just like less consumption of things that I don't actually need. Like sometimes it's great to buy things just because you want them. But I think that always buying things because you want them constantly and then like a year later, like not even wanting them anymore. That's a bad habit that I have been in for a really long time. And I'm really just trying to like shift my mindset when it comes to that and be like, okay, how can I live more sustainably? This is a really, really simple swap that I can make in my life. And yeah, I'm really committed and excited to do so. Okay. And I think that's pretty much going to bring this video to a close. I really enjoyed 
enjoyed sitting down, chatting about this, holding myself to more account, but also just being totally honest and transparent about where I'm at in my sustainability journey and the changes that I really want to make for myself and for the planet. If you have any tips or suggestions, I very much so welcome you to leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Hopefully this has encouraged you to make even just like one simple swap in your life if you're in the position to do so. I'm really excited to be going on this journey. If you want me to short share more about this kind of stuff, feel free to let me know. And yeah, I think that's everything from me. Have a really beautiful day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.